Hi, this is Cooper with Native Instruments. In this video, we will show you how to manage your VST plugins in Ableton Live on a Windows computer. First, let's have a look at your NI plugin locations. To do this, go to Preferences in Native Access. Under File Locations, you're able to define the paths where your VST32 and VST64 bit plugins will be installed. By default, Native Access will install your NI plugins in these two directories. We strongly recommend to use only one folder for your 32 bit VST files and another for your 64 bit VST files. It is also crucial not to move these plugins after their installation. Please note that NI VST3 plugins are installed to a dedicated VST3 location. This installation path cannot be changed. Regardless of where you've installed the VST files to, just make sure that this location is being scanned by Ableton Live at startup. To do this, open Live's Preferences and navigate to the Plugins tab. Note that on earlier versions of Live, this tab is called File Folder. Now, click the Browse button next to VST2 Plugin Custom Folder. If you're using Ableton Live 10 or 11, browse to your 64-bit VST Plugin Folder, as both Live 10 and 11 are 64-bit only. Here we choose the default Native Instruments 64-bit VST Plugin Folder. Once you have selected the folder, Live will automatically scan this folder for plugins. It will also enable Use VST2 Plugin Custom Folder. Now you can close the preferences and in Live's browser, go to Plugins. All of your NI VST plugins are listed here and are now ready to use. In case you're using an earlier 32-bit version of Ableton Live, make sure you choose the folder where your 32-bit NI VST plugins are installed. As we have seen now, Ableton Live only allows you to set one plugin custom folder. If your plugins are scattered across multiple folders, you can use the following trick to consolidate them in Ableton Live's Plugin Manager. First, you will have to note down all of the different directory paths of your plugins. Now create a shortcut for each additional VST folder. To do this, browse to its location. Right-click the folder and choose Create Shortcut. Windows might tell you that it's not able to create a shortcut in this location and asks if you want it to be placed on the desktop instead. Choose Yes. Then right-click the shortcut and choose Rename. This folder will appear in Live's Plugin tab under the name chosen here. Once you have created and renamed the shortcut or shortcuts, you will need to move them to the folder that you set up as your VST2 Plugin Custom folder. To do this, right-click the shortcut and choose Cut. Then browse to the folder. Right-click in an empty space and choose Paste. Windows may also ask for your administrator permission to move the folder. In this case, choose Continue. Do the same with each shortcut that you've created. Once you have done this, Rescan your custom folder in Ableton Live, and your plugins that were located in the other directories will now appear under the names of the shortcuts that you've created. 